you are watching Beauty Over 70 with Lee, and if you are new to my channel, I am Lee, and I thank you for stopping by today. What are we doing today? Yes, it's been a while since I have been down here in my studio doing a beauty video for my subscribers. I've been doing some uh, home decor, which I'm going to continue to do that. But today we're down here in the studio and I'm going to show you hopefully a new Holy Grail foundation that I have found. I love this foundation for the coverage. It doesn't cake. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel greasy and oily. It doesn't feel sticky. It wears well. It's a concoction that I have mixed up because I had my Holy Grail foundation down pat, girls. I did. I had it down pat. But you know what? It was a Lancome product, and I just simply, simply refused to pay the price of that foundation. I love it. I could eat it. I still love it but I refuse to pay the price of that foundation. So I have been working on a new Holy Grail foundation that I can wear that really, that I think goes with this Irish skin. And what am I talking about? Nothing else except Tarte. Amazonian clay is the foundation that I'm talking about today. Not one color, it's going to match this skin that I have found. And no, I have not tried all the colors, but that would be really, really pricey. But I have come up with these two Tarte Amazonian Clay foundations that I mix. And I'm gonna share that with you today. Amazonian Clay, and I'm going to give you my formula. Now my formula that I mix is not going to work for you. What my skin tone is may not work for you, but I'm telling you what works for me and how I'm doing it. So I'm going to take these two Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundations, and um, I use more of one color than I do the other. So my formula is a light honey, and I have a light medium beige. Yeah, that's a light honey, and light medium beige. I need the beige tone to kind of with more yellow in it to kind of neutralize a lot of the red in my skin, but I still need the, the, the pink that I get from the honey because I don't want to look yellow. I want it to match down on my neck and I think it does a pretty good job. So now this is my formula girls. I mix the, the light honey which is 25H. I've got my paper here and make sure that I've got this because I don't have it in my head yet. I'm still mixing and trying things. It's the Light Honey and it's the 25H. And there's the, there's the shade. And then Light Medium Beige. And there's the, on the back. And this is the 26B, 26B. So my formula is to mix these two products. I use more of the, the light honey than I do the light medium beige. So I take three-fourths of a tablespoon, three-fourths of a tablespoon of the light honey, and I put one teaspoon of the light medium beige and I put it in a little container, one of these little containers, plastic containers that you can get, you know, when you go on trips and stuff. These are so great, they don't break. And this just happens to be a little sample that I had left over from IT Cosmetics that came in a GWP or was sent to me or something. But anyway, that's what I mix mine in. I squirt it in my measuring spoon. And then I take a scoop and scoop it, make sure I get the right measurements in there. And I put it in this little container. And then I put my teaspoon, one teaspoon of the light medium beige and one of my little small brushes, the handle. 
and I stir it super, super, super good. I clean my brush and I clean all of it off of there. I mean, not the brush, but the handle, the end. You know, just anything to stir it with. You know, look how I've just kind of dipped in there and <laughs> that's what it looks like, girls. That's what it looks like. And that is the two colors that I have mixed to make, hopefully, a Holy Grail foundation. Now, like I said, this runs about $40, 40 dollars 40 42 depending on where you get it, what country you live in. But I think I get mine for 42 at Ulta. And that's exactly where I buy this Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. But my gosh, that will last me forever. It takes so little. It takes so sparingly. And by the way, I have stopped using a brush most of the time to put on my foundation. Number one, you waste makeup. You waste product. It gives it a streaky look. And I have just used a, a sponge, a beauty blender, and sometimes I use it wet, sometimes I use it dry, depending on the look that I want. And I push, and I push, and I push, and I push that in. And I press it in, press it in, press it in. I call stippling. And I get a much nicer look for me by doing it that way. So, uh, yeah, I'm going, I still use a brush at times, but, my, but basically 90% of the time, especially for special occasion, I put it on with a little sponge. Those little wedges or a beauty blender, uh, whatever your preference, and then, um, you know, they're disposable. I use one several times and then just dispose it. But that is what I have come up with for my, hopefully, my new Holy Grail foundation while mixing these two tart Amazonian clay foundations together by mixing the light honey, three-fourths of a tablespoon, the light, medium beige, one teaspoon. And I stir it up in this little container and I put it in there and it lasts a long, long, long time. So I get a lot of mileage out of these girls. I really, really do. So I thank you for allowing me to share my new foundation and let you know if I, when I find, if and when I found anything better. I do have other foundations on my makeup table. I use those every day and I'm working on another one. So I'm going to share that with you. But anyway, I thank you for watching today. Beauty Over 70 with Lee. And if you like what the content, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. Come along with me as we Go through this channel together where we do beauty and skin care. We do get ready with me. By the way, I'm going to be doing a couple of get readies with me uh, coming up very, very shortly. So uh, we're going to be doing lifestyle, fashion. I'm going to take you shopping with me and thrifting and some more decorating. So I thank you for watching today. And... Um, Go out and make today better than yesterday. And always remember that I love you. Come back to see me. And um, what do I have on today? I forgot about that. What do I have on today? I just have on a black camisole under here. A black camisole with a little bit of lace on it. And I have on this um, Casper pink blazer. And I have on some jewelry that is black and white with uh, some black on it and uh, matching earrings. And these are just, they're just costume, of course, but um, I like to brighten things up in the spring. So I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, my friends, and uh, come back to see me. And remember, I'll have a new video next Thursday. Remember, I love you. Bye-bye.